Let's bounce, homie! <laughs> you know what, Envy? You crazy immigrant killer. You know that I look at you and I see myself. You know that? It's funny, but I look at you and I don't see myself. Must be a one-way mirror or something. That is exactly what I'm talking about, man. You can't see yourself in me because you haven't unlocked your full potential. Look, between you and me, I used to be an out-of-shape guy with anger issues. Just like you, bro. You're gonna have to trust me on that one because I burnt all the photos. <laughs> I can believe that. Dude, I had low cheekbones as well. Thank God for implants, man. Okay, okay, so I was this guy who was going nowhere, and I changed my life. Hit the weights, right? Hit the roids, then the bull shark. I didn't get angry anymore. I was happy in myself. Maybe that's what you need. I don't want to sound like a dick, Brucey, but didn't you get me running around town, killing people because you've got roid rage? If those aren't anger issues, I don't know what are. At least when I decide someone's got to go, there's a good reason. All I'm saying is, I'm a more rounded person, that's all. All right, maybe if you started to look after your body, you'd start to look after your mind, man. I should quit. I've been smoking these things since I was 10. You're probably right. They should repair the fucking sidewalks. Try walking around here in heels. Not fucking likely.
Hey, Nico, let's go. How you doing? Okay. I'm depressed. You're always depressed. I know, it's ridiculous. I need some medication or some shit. Take the edge off. I think you'll be okay. You know what I miss most about Playboy? No. He was like my kid brother. He was like my family. Man, what I want most ain't a job or nothing. It's a fucking family. I wanna be your dad. So, get married. Start dating. Nah. I seen too much, man. I'm too broken. That shit won't work for me. I missed my chance when I started slinging them drugs. Life got too complicated. Guess I don't believe in second chances and redemption. I don't think I do either. You know, you don't want to fight me. Yeah, hey, man, don't, don't make me run I'm not your just eye candy, you loser. Oh, my God. Go on. Get you bumped my tits. Uh, Stop crying and stay Pitch down.
What's wrong? There's good news and there's bad news. Good news is everything's coming together. Bad news ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference to me. Uh, what do you mean? Do you want me to spell it out? No, I guess not. Thanks. Pack, you'll give you a call and explain. The ex-boyfriend of your girl is gonna agree to the divorce terms. Unfortunately, turns out he wasn't our only problem. Some other crap has turned up. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. Been a great laugh. You look after yourself. Yeah. Nico, me and Gracie is waiting for you just off of Frankfurt Avenue in Northwood. Looks like our joyful time with her is coming to an end. That's a fucking tragedy. We should throw her a goodbye party. That's the plan. Hopefully someone might bring a big present for us to this shindig as well. Maybe a big bag of diamonds will help us get over the pain of losing her. We're waiting for you, man. Hey, man. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. Becky, my man. How are you and Gracie getting on? Like a house on fire, ain't that right, Gracie? <laughs> See, she was just telling me how much she loved me. What do you think of Nico, Gracie? I fucking love the fuck of you. Gracie. Watch your mouth. Miko's a good friend of mine. Don't say that about him. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Gracie, you're sweet. I know, I'm too good for him, but sometimes a guy has got to hang out with lowlifes like Miko here. He's got his uses. I'll give you some fucking uses! That's right, he is definitely a bad influence on me. I'm a fucker! Gracie, you all right? Daddy? The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down, both of you. Oye, we put the ice in the middle, we walk back. Then, to send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods.
Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Nikabelik. How is it that whenever something is stolen from me, you are not far away? I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican bitch, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves to rob me. Kanchai! What you did to that man, but we ain't leaving here without them diamonds. All right, I think I know who's got the ice. Follow me. Stay on me. Bosh me. Bosh me. This has got to be this way. Let's split up. I'll take the high road and you take the low road. You're trapped! We'll let you go if you give them up! 
<laughs> I'm screwed either way. If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here and you take them. I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later. I don't nobody having them. Screw all of you. Yebeno isto. You selfish piece of cock sucking shit. But there is no guarantee we would have made any money out of those diamonds anyway. I've got a suspicion those were the ones Ray Bacino got me to handle a while back. They're bad luck. Me and some biker had to try to sell them to a diamond dealer. And it turns into a bloodbath. That was when those friends of Gracie's must have gotten them. Stolen from you, did they? No. They stole them from the guys I sold them to. Shit. These diamonds have been trouble since Ray first made me take them out of a trash can for them. It's good they're on their way to a landfill somewhere. Best place for them. The population of Liberty City would have been higher if we had. You might be right, Nico. Whose fucking diamonds were they anyway? They're not Ray's, I can tell you this much. Maybe they belong to this homosexual man, Gracie's friend. Oh, I don't know, maybe to Bulgari. Bulgari? He the motherfucker who busted up our peaceful hostage exchange? What in Christ's name went on back there anyways? Some time ago, I worked for Mr. Bulgarin in Europe, smuggling people across the Adriatic. The ship sunk. The cargo sunk to the bottom of the sea. I had to swim for my life. Bulgarin had lost a lot of money that night and he needed someone to blame. This was one of the reasons I leave Europe and come here to Liberty City. And now he shows up claiming the ice belongs to him. What are the chances? Our parents crossed back when I was living in Hope Beach as well. My cousin and I moved up to Boham to get away from him and another man called Dimitri Raskolov. That's a real shame. I can see you fitting right in down in Hope Beach, Nico. Probably a good thing you got out, though. Wouldn't have met me if you'd stayed, would you? When you put it like this, I'm one lucky motherfucker, Becky. Driving in Liberty fucking city, eh? Nico, that was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Becky. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. But you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. Hey, Ray, I got some bad news for you. You weren't the only one who thought they owned those diamonds. Turns out a serious Russian called Bulgarin claims ownership as well. Damn it, Nicky, cut the bullshit. You got them? Where are they? Liberty City dump? I don't know. They got thrown into traffic.
love to disappoint me, Nico Pelican. You really do. Are you disappointed that I have not found and killed you yet, Dmitri Raskolov? Do not worry. Your time will soon come. I went to the sewage works on Charge Island. I picked through the bodies, and yours was not among them. Very disappointing. I'm sorry. Or maybe the thugs who failed to kill me should be blamed, though. I cannot believe that you would steal from my friend Ray Bulgarian twice. First in Europe, and then these diamonds in Liberty City. You are in debt to him, Nico. Why don't you just pay him what you owe, and we can all get along? I have no debts to Bulgarian, Dimitri. And the only thing I owe you is a bullet to the temple. You will be paid in full. Fear not. You have a sharp tongue, Nico. It is only a matter of time before it is cut out of your mouth. Goodbye. <laughs>